Today I'm going to talk about Coda and how it solves scalability and decentralization. If you enjoyed this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Coda is a cryptocurrency with a tiny portable blockchain. It swaps the traditional blockchain with a tiny cryptographic proof, enabling a cryptocurrency as accessible as any other app or website. To better understand this, you need to understand how cryptocurrencies work. You see, in every other cryptocurrency so far, the way that you prove the current state of the world is the current state of the world is by verifying it. You do that by downloading everything that's happened. That means in more mature networks like Ethereum, you have to download huge chunks of data and verify it the same way because you have to make sure it's actually correct. The problem is, when the network hits full capacity, it becomes so slow that it'll be more difficult to build on the network. And you can see this when you pull up Ethereum's utilization chart and see the network's at 94% capacity. It becomes a bit of a paradox, as the more popular the network becomes, the more difficult it becomes to use. Part of this problem is when users occupy a piece of state on the Ethereum network. They can keep that space for as long as they want and almost entirely for free. And larger companies are taking up all the space, like Tether, leaving less rooms for other users to participate. Coda solves this problem in a novel way. No matter how much usage on Coda grows, the blockchain always stays at the same size, which is about 20 kilobytes or the size of a couple of tweets. Coda is really the first cryptocurrency that's actually really resource efficient. And if we want cryptocurrencies to be running for end users, they need to be part of websites and phones, but you can't do that if you have to download hundreds of gigabytes. You need something that's lightweight. So how exactly does the Coda team do this? Coda uses ZK Snarks, which is a novel form of zero-knowledge cryptography. Zero-knowledge proofs allow one party to prove to another that a statement is true without revealing any information beyond the validity of the statement itself. ZK Snarks is the same technology that's used in Zcash. The difference is that the Zcash team is focused on privacy, whereas Coda is focused on scalability. Coda uses a recursive composition of ZK Snarks. With recursive ZK Snarks and Coda, they give you the ability to bottle up the state into one little proof so that each computation can carry the whole state with it as it extends the history. This means that you just download this tiny little proof that shows that it's correct versus hundreds of gigabytes of data as the blockchain increases in size. Now, if you think Coda is only about scalability, not so fast, my friend. In the Coda white paper, the team also mentions decentralization as the second property they want their protocol to achieve. To better understand this, most blockchains today focus on transactions per second, 1,000, 5,000, 20,000 transactions per second without taking into account that increasing transactions per second without considering the cost of running a full node comes with a decentralization trade-off. Instead, we should focus on scalability per unit of decentralization, or SCADI, which shows solutions like EOS, Ripple, and Definity on the left, with solutions like Bitcoin and Ethereum on the right. Many of the use cases pursued by developers and entrepreneurs do indeed require achieving high throughput. However, while doing that, we can't let go of what is essential to a blockchain, achieving programmable trust without intermediaries. If we go back to having to trust a limited set of intermediaries, there is no point to using a really bad computer. Just use cloud computing. It's way cheaper. The way we achieve better scalability per unit of decentralization is to design a more efficient trust machine where every user does not need to recompute every transaction since the Genesis block in order to directly achieve access to the machine. By using zero-knowledge proofs to fix the size of the blockchain to a tiny proof, Coda can achieve a far more efficient design and better scalability per unit of decentralization. Last but not least, I want to go over another initiative Coda has called Snarky, which lets you write zero-knowledge proofs as if you were writing ordinary code. 
Snarky makes it easier for developers to work with Coda by making it a higher level language to express more complex logic. Coda also has some other cool features, including an inclusive consensus with no lockups, forced delegation, or low bandwidth requirements. A small amount of stake allows anyone to participate. And this means that Coda's constant size blockchain and energy efficient consensus make it very sustainable compared to proof of work and proof of stake blockchains. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.